Look at this, guys. Check it out. That's the real deal. So Eric, tell us a little bit about the the wingnut creation here. Where did how is it how did it kind of like uh, start and where did you get this crazy idea and kind of go from there? Well, I, I I have a lot of ideas, but I don't necessarily do anything without a purpose. Yeah. So yeah, you, know, you can find salmon ladders and warp wall plans all over the place, but I got a taste of the wingnuts at a local gym. And I decided, like, I wonder if I can build my own. So I did some searching, and there, there's nothing. And then I just decided, like, I got to come up with something to build something very show-like. Yes. And literally, like, during one of my kids' football practices, I sat there with some graph paper. <laughs> and sketched it literally using quarters and nickels to get my radiuses right. And I ended up, by the end of practice, I ended up with, with this. Check it out, guys. That's awesome. And before I knew it, is I had something that looked like a wing nut. So in the middle, that's just a quarter? Yeah, it's literally <laughs> just circle of a quarter right there. That's awesome. Small ones a nickel, big ones a quarter. I do like to mess with CAD and 3D design. Yeah. So I worked that into um, a 3D program, and then I started posting pictures of it. And Instagram kind of freaked out. Yeah, totally. I was like, well, maybe I should build this thing now, because people thought the rendering was real. They thought that it was actually made. And so I did a lot of research and like climbing holds and what the material was and how to bake things. And then before you know it, I had a 3D print, which I can show you. Show here. us, yeah, we want to see it. And this this is my original 3D print. Yeah. Which I, which I broke in the middle of the process, but. Yeah, you know, and how, how many pieces is that? It's five pieces, this yep. is one, and then two, three, four, and five. Yep, cool. Each piece taking about 14 hours to print. <laughs> 14 hours each piece. Yeah. Five days of listening to the printer behind your head. <laughs> it's pretty intense and it gets a little nerve wracking, but when you see it's 3D printing is cool because you just see something come to life. It's yeah. Just, it's neat. Yeah. You go to bed and you wake up and you, there's something there. So Eric, after you uh, glued all the pieces together you said you just use super glue if i remember right yeah so it's a it's a pla based plastic so yeah pretty much what super glue is made of just in liquid form oh and interesting it bonds almost instantly yep to stuff. That, that's why it, it was actually a very a very very clean break when it popped up the hole see there's no yeah no, it, it's very smooth i can just really glue that back together sand it a little bit and it's done wow that's awesome. <laughs> so, and there's, there's a lot, there's a lot of finishing that comes into play with a 3D print. Yeah. Because of the lines and the layers it makes. So, a lot of primer, a lot of sanding, some textured paint on it to give it a little bit of grip. Yep. Okay. And then you get it ready for for mold. Okay. So talk about the molding process a little bit. Molding, it's it's fairly straightforward. It's literally you gotta, I gotta plant this down. You can see a lot of the silicone on the back that didn't peel off. Okay. I'd have, to, I'd have to scrape it off. We got to glue it down. Okay. Build a box around it. Yep. And then you slowly pour a silicone epoxy on it almost. And you get some that looks like this. Yes. <laughs> so you get, you get this. That's awesome. And, uh, this is, this will make a perfect replication of a wing nut every time. So then you and take that and then you start the mold. Yeah, so you take, you take that and that's what's gonna create your your wing nut ultimately. And then it's after that's a two part polyurethane resin. Okay, yep. Which takes a little bit to work with. You gotta, you gotta mix the two components together and you have a limited amount of time to get it to where you need to go or else it just hardens up. Yes. So, I mean, it literally takes two minutes before it goes from a liquid to a solid. Two minutes, wow. Two minutes, and it is, it's hard, and when it's solid, it's about 190 degrees as it tears down. Okay, wow, so it's hot to the touch, that's for sure. Yes, it is super okay. solid and super thick. I believe this stuff's rated for about 5,000 pounds per square inch. Wow, okay. When it's fully, fully cured. It takes about maybe 15, 20 minutes every time I make one. 15 or 20, okay. From, yeah, from mix to pour to pop it out of the mold. Gotcha, wow, that's fantastic. Look at this, guys. Check it out. That's the real deal. Probably weighs about 30 pounds. 30 pounds. That's solid. Plexiglass in the back. Yep. 
Look at that. I use the 3D CAD to design all the steel, and then I reach out to some local shops to get a laser cut. Yep. And, and powder coated. So it's it's solid as a rock. Like it is sturdy and very use-worthy. <laughs>